Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk about my sober experience. It's been one year since I've been sober from weed. I wanna talk about the good, the bad, because I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, oh yeah, everything's been rainbows and flowers and it's been great. There's been some side effects <laughs> that I've noticed that affected me. And I think it's because maybe I smoked for so many years that I never really paid attention to how I really was sober. Cause I technically wasn't sober for a long time, for a lot of years, if you really think about it, because weed kind of stays in your system for a long time, and you know it doesn't break down. That's why it shows on your on your blood longer than other drugs, and then it takes like about a month for it not to show on your pee pee. But it, obviously, it depends on how much you smoke too. So I have a list here, so I don't forget <laughs> anything that I need to talk about. So the first thing that I want to say is. My short-term memory is improving. It's it's improving. I'm noticing little things like okay, if I have to memorize a number and someone tells it to me, I'll be able to remember. I'll be able to repeat it back again. And before it was, I would only remember two or three numbers, which was horrible, especially when you're at work or you're doing any type of customer service type of situation. The other thing that I noticed is that I can keep a routine down. Before I used to always say like, oh, I don't wanna you know, do skincare because I'm not gonna keep it down. Like I'm not gonna do it every day. So what's the point in me investing in it and it's just gonna sit there and if it's not consistent, I'm not gonna see results and X, Y, and Z. So I've noticed that I'm able to keep a routine a lot better and more consistently than what I used to. So which this is a really good thing. And I'm more self-conscious about my self-care i mean i used to i still was but it's more like amplified in a sense of like um more in tune of like what well, lotions to buy like body lotions my skin my hair i'm just like more <laughs> i guess you would say like anal and detailed about making sure i'm using like the proper um ingredients or chemicals non-chemicals are not going to hurt me in the long run or give me any cancer in the future and stuff like that you know and another thing that I noticed is I'm less reactive. I did know I did mention that in my first video when I was about like a month out, but it's becoming more and more apparent. I'm less reactive over certain things. I don't get really emotional. I don't take things personal. I'm able to implement the things that I learned when I read that book, The Four Agreements. And one of the rules about the Four Agreements is don't take things personal. So I just it's just way easier to not take things personal. <laughs> Which you would think it would be the opposite because weed makes you not care. Um, yes, weed, weed makes you care slightly in the moment, but then you kind of ignore the feeling and you feel like you don't care, but you are really caring because you're not really processing the situation. So now it's like more, oh, yeah, whatever, you know, like, but on your own without you having to use a substance to make you feel like whatever or not take, really not take things personally anymore. The other thing is, I this is kind of gross. I spit less black mucus. I don't know about you guys if you still smoke weed, but I would spit a lot of black mucus. Like you know when you're like brushing your teeth and for something you're spitting out any type of phlegm, whether you're sick or you're just kind of spitting out phlegm that you have, it would come out like dark with like little specks of like blackness, and I it's becoming less and less and. That was kind of scary for me. <laughs> and um, I don't experience any pain in my chest anymore like how I used to when I would smoke or my lungs hurting or my heart feeling weird. Uh, it's It just doesn't happen as often. So be careful if you're smoking weed and that's happening to you. One thing that I want to say too is that just because I'm saying weed helped me out and I had all these bad side effects when I was smoking, there's some people that don't experience these side effects that I did when I when I was smoking the way I was doing. So it just really depends on your brain and how your body responds with weed. So I don't want to, people to think that I'm against weed. It's, it works for some people. You don't have those side effects. Great. If you do have those side effects, I would say kind of really rethink about you changing your habits of smoking weed maybe reducing or maybe just stopping forever or maybe just putting it in your head that it's just not meant for me it's just it ain't and i just gotta let it go because it's not worth my health worsening mentally and physically so the other thing too is i still crave sweets which is kind of interesting I think when I was smoking weed, I my appetite wasn't really there. So now it's kind of, I feel like I eat more. So I've gained weight because of that. And I, I just crave sweets. It's kind of a 
harder to control myself because I don't have the weed to help me to deprive myself from not eating, you know? So <laughs> that's not a good thing. Um, but that's just, I think that's just part of my personality and my struggles that I've had since I was a kid because I was introduced to a lot of sweets and cupcakes and all that stuff when I was growing up because my parents grew up poor so they wanted to spoil us and give us everything and buy us all the junk food in the world so now that I'm older I tend to struggle with maintaining a balance with not having to eat junk food all the time when it's accessible to me or even just craving it because it's just like it's been a habit for me to eat it so a lot of things are just a lot of things that I haven't worked on has been coming out too now that I've been sober, things that I need to work on personally and not using weed as a mask or, or a band-aid. Okay, so I drink more coffee now. <laughs> I used to always say like, oh, I don't drink coffee. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get how people drink coffee. I'm a water person. Well, now I drink coffee. And I don't know if it has to do with what I just mentioned before because I just love the taste of creamer. I love creamer. I like the sweetness of it. I don't, I don't really care about the taste of coffee as long as it has a, a small little, a little, little taste of it. So it's been kind of hard quitting coffee. Man, I think it's just like my brain kind of wanting to pick up a bad habit because unfortunately coffee just doesn't work well with me. Maybe if I find a, a more healthier creamer because the creamer that I use is, is a Starbucks kind and when I what I've seen in regards to the ingredients like it's not good for you to eat the gum and the vegetable oil that's inside the creamer it's just really really bad and then which it makes you bloated and I do feel a lot bloated when I when I drink it but I just love the sweetness when I wake up in the morning <laughs> which I think it's replacing me wanting to smoke in the morning maybe yeah uh, that's just my theory okay so I don't crave alcohol anymore like how I used to in the beginning it, it was like it was it felt like a struggle so when I was sober from weed I was like okay like I still want to I was craving alcohol I, when I was accessible I would drink it and now slowly now that I'm hitting my year and I'm in situations where there's no alcohol but there's an accessibility there I don't really go and look for it like I'm not in a rush to be like oh well I know I can't drink here but let me go get some over there it's just it's not there anymore which is great but i haven't gotten to the point where i'm not craving it at all so that's my ultimate goal eventually where i just drink on very special occasions like maybe once or twice a year that's my ultimate goal you know i gotta do baby steps like i'm stopping with weed and now i'm gonna try to like really hone in on the alcohol stuff so my words this is a negative thing that i noticed is that, and i think it's because i've been putting a band-aid band over it over it with weed is when I try to talk or explain a situation or a story or just me trying to express something verbally, it's hard for me. I don't make fucking sense. <laughs> like, I just, I can't put my sentences together and make sense. Right now, I feel like I'm kind of making sense because I have a list and I have a direction. But if I'm just kind of going off of my own, I it's hard for me to tell a story it's hard for me to explain the situation. I'm just like all over the fucking place. That's what I noticed. It's just like, whoa. I don't know. Um, and I know it's not good for, for you to self-diagnose yourself. But I spoke to some of my friends about certain symptoms that I'm going to talk on the list. And they were kind of saying like, maybe you need to go see a psychologist. Maybe I have ADHD. Just kind of like rule it out. Because it kind of sounds like ADHD symptoms. And I was like, hmm. I kind of said that before. So I don't know. I think I'm now that I have insurance with my new job, I'm thinking about going to go check to see if i have adhd like it probably diagnosed as to to really understand my own brain and see and just to understand it more like how i always keep preaching so another thing that i notice is oh this is a negative thing when i listen to a lecture it's hard for me to focus that's why i keep saying i think that i have i i might have a mild mild uh, I don't know at what level I am but it's hard for me to focus and I kept saying like oh my gosh did we help me focus because I spoke all through college and I got really great grades and I don't know if it was helping me focus I just I I don't know so I can't I can't uh self-diagnose myself like I said so I I'm planning on seeing a a psychologist and getting tested so I'll keep you posted on that to see if I was right or wrong or maybe I'm just missing brain cells. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
um but it's really hard for me to focus on lecture like i one example i give you is like when i'm at work and they're teaching us because there's a lot to learn in my new job a lot a lot of things policies ways to do certain um programs that we're dealing with um web browsers things like that just um a lot of things that i had to learn and when someone would talk it was like i literally felt like the you know on charlie brown when you hear a person go wah, 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 and i'm just like so what i do to to help me towards that situation is i write notes so so i'm writing it so that i can go back and at least read it over and over and over or at least i know that i wrote, wrote down the information that i'm going to need in the future so i don't feel stressed out or me having to ask the same questions over and over and over so i try to do that to help me with me not be able to fudge and focus which sucked. I, it really made me kind of sad. I was crying about it. And um, it, made, it just made me really sad. And, but at the, on a positive note, I'm glad that I know now. And I can try to fix it. Find a solution to it. Okay, and the other thing is I try to do multiple things at once. So I try to multitask. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. And I really just think it things that depend i think it depends on the tasks that i'm trying to multitask with <laughs> so um i'm all over the place like i'll do one thing and then i and then i don't finish that and i'm jumping to another thing and then i i'm just kind of going back and forth and that's another symptom that i noticed that um could 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 um lead you see i'm not making any sense lead that that could be a sign of maybe me having ADHD. I don't, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure because the little bit, you know, the stuff that I've, that I've learned about it, it kind of ring, it kind of makes me believe that I do have ADHD. So, um, but overall that's the good and the bad that's been going on. That's an update. It's been a year. Do I sometimes crave it? Do I sometimes think like, Hmm, maybe I can do it once in a while. Yes, I do. Sometimes I think about it. And I'm just like, no, 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 no it's not worth it i'm finally regaining my memory i don't want to work I, it's just not meant for me it's not meant for my body unfortunately i could just love it from far away and be like you know like like thank you for doing all positive things that you can do but it is it's not happening to me and maybe i'll do cbd in the future too just for like joint stuff because i am ex now that i'm getting a little older i'm i'm experiencing a lot of joint problems and, and i don't know if me smoking for so long also too was kind of helping with that so but that's pretty much the update i really hope that this video helps if you have any questions you know comment down below let me know how your experience has been if you stopped smoking or if you've been thinking about it uh just comment down below what you think uh if, if you have any questions that i didn't answer leave them down below i appreciate everyone for watching this video and being interested and wanting to learn about this uh and the last thing i guess that i want to say is you can't force people to stop they have to do it on their own with anything that they're, that they're um struggling with and if it's affecting their life it is it's kind of hard to really force someone i did it because i wanted to and i found a reason to stay sober so thankfully um that worked out but you're gonna have to wait for for that person to to get to that point too so but thank you again hopefully you can subscribe if you're new to my channel make sure you like share like I said, comment, say something, say something. I'm going to try to stay consistent again with posting. It's been kind of tough because of my new job, but I'm going to keep on pushing. I'm not going to give up. I'm the type of person that just doesn't give up. And I'm just going to be putting, because I like doing these videos. I just, I love editing and I like putting stuff out there. Even if it helps one person, screw it. And I appreciate everybody who continues to watch and has continued to stay subscribed and is just interested in anything that I put out, whether it's education for fun or um just for shits and giggles you know so all right i'll talk to everybody later bye my little loves bye